Hello YouTube, this is going to be a January 2019 Altergeist deck profile. Uh, just to update since I made my first video, um, I went to Locals yesterday and I took Pendulum Magicians, the deck that I made a video of, and um, I didn't do too well, it was two round elimination, uh, I lost both rounds, uh, the first one was to Altergeist, uh, and the second one was to uh, 60 card Dino. Um, I thought it was a little ironic though because I was just about to take my Altergeist deck to... Um, to the locals, but I decided to take Pendulum Magicians instead, which I thought I was a little bit more comfortable with. Uh, hopefully that has changed, though, in the past few days with um, with uh, the playtesting that I've been doing with Altergeist. Uh, anyway, this is the deck profile, and um, thank you for watching. Please enjoy. Anyway, I got three uh, Altergeist Marionetter, uh, the best normal summon of the deck. Uh, set one Altergeist Trap directly from your deck, so you're going to be setting Protocol on the first turn, and uh, hopefully you have uh, Multifaker in your hand. Uh, it has another effect where you can send one Altergeist card you control to the grave, and then special an Altergeist monster from the grave, so uh, that's just another way to get Multifaker. Uh, maybe Metal Seek, depends on what uh, what play you're going for. So uh, three Multifaker, which uh, when you activate a trap, um, what, this is my routine here, I activate the trap, ask my opponent if I have, if he has a response, and then uh, when he, if he says no, I uh, say new chain, uh, special multi-faker, uh, because that's what's happening, uh, just to clarify, um, just so everyone knows what's going on. Um, multi-faker uh, specials from the hand, and then uh, specials and altergeist, altergeist monster from the, uh, from the deck. Uh, so that's normally going to be Silquitus, but um, it does not have to be from the hand, um, as I said. Uh, anyway, the multi-faker special summon, you special summon from the deck. So we got uh, Triple Meliseek, which is a level 1, so you can go into Link Karibo. Uh, it's got a graveyard effect, um, whether you use it as Link Material or not, um, to search a uh, Altergeist monster from the deck. So uh, just another way to um, get your deck moving and get maybe Multifaker or Marionetta to the hand, or even Kunkuri. Uh, we got Double Silquitus, which um, is a live bounce if you have an Altergeist monster on your field, Altergeist card on your field. Um, Quick effect, so um, just uh, a monster that you want to be getting with multi-faker and uh, not normal summoning or not uh, not drawing, pretty much. And then finally we got uh, one Kunkuri, which is a uh, a uh, attack negation if you have an Altergeist uh, monster on your side of the field. And then um, it also negates one monster your opponent control, uh, their, that monster's effects um, for the turn. But it is a level 5, so um, just be wary of that. So that's the uh, monster lineup. Then for the... Um, Oh, actually, I do have hand traps, uh, which are still monsters. Um, three ogre, three ash. <clears throat> I thought these were the uh, the hand traps to run uh, because uh, I have Valor, I have Droll. I'm probably gonna side Droll. Uh, I'm not gonna show my side deck today. I'm gonna still probably gonna edit this once or twice more, a um, couple rounds of editing and then uh, take it to locals and then uh, make a video about how I do in the locals. But uh, this is what I got for now, maining three Ghost Ogre, three Ash. I thought this was um, a uh, pretty solid move. Then uh, for the spells, only three of them, and they are all the same card, Pot of Duality. Uh, no desires in this deck because I don't like banishing my um, all of my protocols or all of my Silquitus. Um, so Duality is the card that, uh, unlike Demise or Desires, doesn't have any effect where you're losing anything. Uh, you're not banishing or discarding or anything. Um, also, uh, you will be activating uh, Multifaker probably on your opponent's turn uh, for the most part. So uh, not special summoning is not the end of the world because you can dig for these specific uh, traps and uh, maybe monsters too that you need um, with Pot of Duality. So um, two personal spoofing. Um, Unfortunately, not Altergeist spoofing. Probably would run it at three if it was Altergeist spoofing, but uh, it can be Clog at three. But you just shuffle one Altergeist card from your hand or field from, um, into the main deck and then add one Altergeist monster. So you can add Multifaker. If you activated spoofing and not just the effect, if you activated the card um, this turn, you can special summon Multifaker the same, uh, the same uh, series of events, same turn, uh, not the same chain, uh, from, the, uh, from the hand the same uh, time. So, uh, personal spoofing. Anyway, uh, double Altergeist Protocol. Uh, it is a continuous uh, Solemn Strike. If uh, you have an Altergeist card to, uh, to tribute, uh, or to send to the grave, rather. Uh, also, your, uh, your Altergeist cards cannot be uh, negated, the activation and effects of them. So, um, just a solid continuous trap to have on the field and to uh, trigger Multifaker. Then we got a double Manifestation. 
which is the Call of the Haunted for Altergeist. Um, it also equips, though. It's not continuous. Um, and then you can also banish it to uh, add one Altergeist trap from your grave to the hand. Um, there is one combo, or uh, one interesting uh, ruling, where if you have Silquitus on the field already, you can activate Manifestation, um, resurrect one Altergeist monster in your grave, and then um, chain Silquitus uh, to Manifestation, bounce Manifestation. Uh, before it equips, it's already in your hand, but the monster um, is still Special Summon from the grave. Uh, but you do have to have Silquitus on the field to make that play. Uh, you can't be getting Silquitus from manifestation to do that play it has to already be on the field um so two heavy storm duster um just good for you know if i took this to locals uh yesterday i would have played uh, altergeist in the mirror match and i definitely would have um used heavy storm duster uh well and uh had a use for it uh two anti-spell um which uh is just a um uh, a solid floodgate to stop uh, your opponent's spells from going off in, uh, as quickly as they would. Um, duality is the only spell in this deck, so uh, anti-spell is definitely a welcome addition to the deck. Uh, two rivalry, uh, kind of similar in um, how they function. Um, all the monsters are spellcasters, so uh, rivalry is solid. Then um, for the, uh, the next traps, I have three strikes, uh, one warning, and one judgment. So um, just the Solemn Brigade at maximum capacity here. Just uh, more traps to trigger multi-faker and um, solid for a uh, stun control type deck. And then uh, the last trap I have is Imperial Order, um, which uh, goes hand in hand with the anti-spell fragrances. And that is the main deck. On to the extra deck, uh, Triple Hextia. So uh, this is a... Um, a spell and trap negate if you tribute an altergeist monster. One uh, setup I do like to have is uh, maybe Link Karibo here, Hextia here. This is pointing to either Marionetta, which uh, will give this card the ATK, uh, which is this card's um, first effect. Uh, so you have Marionetta tribute, and this would be a 3100. Or um, you could also have Meliseek here. If you wanted to tribute Meliseek, you could also be getting uh, Meliseek's graveyard effect as well. Uh, so that's Hextia, points down and right. Uh, Kidolga is the other Altergeist uh, Link 2. It points down and left. I just didn't think it was uh, necessary to play in the deck, so I am not running it. Um, one Prime Banshee, uh, which uh, has a similar effect to Hextia in that um, if it's sent to the grave, you can... Uh, I didn't mention this about Hextia, actually. If, uh, if Hextia is sent uh, to the grave, you can search one Altergeist card from your deck. If Prime Banshee is sent from the grave, to the grave, uh, you can add one Altergeist card uh, from the graveyard. Also, Prime Banshee has a uh, quick effect where you can tribute an Altergeist monster, uh, another Altergeist monster, um, to special a Altergeist monster from the deck to his own that this points to, so that is most of the time going to be multi-faker. Um, I just like the arrows of Prime Banshee. I think um, it just it looks really cool, and it's just a cool design to have down, right, and down, right. Just not many Link monsters have these kind of arrows, so um, it's pretty cool. I think Prime Banshee is a cool card. Um, so... Next uh, extra deck card is Link Rebo. Uh, only one Link Rebo because I only have one. I probably probably would uh, run two, but um, one is uh, is okay. Uh, you just uh, after Meliseek, uh is on the field, you can go into Link Rebo and uh, get Meliseek's graveyard effect, as I mentioned. Also, Link Rebo has that cool um, cool uh, tribute effect where you can turn uh, your opponent's monster to zero ATK. Uh, one Underclock Taker, which is my replacement for Link Rebo. Uh, not really the same use, but, uh, you know, it is Cyber, so there's that, I guess. Uh, that was a joke. Uh, but Underclock Taker is a solid card. Um, just none, none of the uh, Altergeist monsters are too high in ATK, unless uh, Hextia is pointing to, like, Marionetta or uh, Prime Banshee. But uh, Underclock Taker helps you in those situations with uh, ATK being a uh, factor. And then we got the, uh, the Nightmares, one Unicorn one uh, Cerberus, and one Phoenix. Um, just solid utility cards to have in the uh, in the back pocket if you want to blow up your opponent's spells and traps, shuffle them to the deck, um, blow up special summon monsters, Phoenix, Cerberus, Unicorn, really, really solid cards uh, in today's Link Monster pool. And then we got uh, one Ningurstu, which is the uh, non-targeting uh, destruction. Uh, doesn't use this World Chalice effect, but uh, I do like its arrows because you can co-link up and um, it's actually a little different from Unicorn, which points down uh, instead of up. But uh, just really, really cool card. Cheap, too. Cheap card, Ningursu. Like, 
only a couple of bucks, I think, and it's a secret rare, which is pretty cool. It looks really nice. I really like this card uh, and the artwork. So, um, then we got a Summon Sorceress. Uh, not everyone would play Summon Sorceress in, uh, in an Altergeist deck, but I feel like all the monsters are spellcasters, and if you're, if let's say it's here and uh, you're pointing to an altar guys here or here, then you can special from the deck, and that could be multi faker. So that that does come into play. I think I think summon sorcerers um, potentially makes a spot in this deck. Um, really don't uh, don't know what else I would put in except for another link Karibo. Um Then for the um, for the uh, the boss monsters, I have a Borlo Dragon, uh, which is just a solid link for as I, I've said in my other video. Uh, just really really solid card. Um, just can go in so many extra decks, just really, really good card. Uh, steals your opponent's monster, uh, non-targeting, non-destruction. Uh, one Topologic Bomber Dragon um, to uh, to blow up my opponent's field if I want a special multi-faker from a hand during my uh, opponent's turn to a, uh, a zone that this points to, I can blow up the main the main monster zone, so that's decent. Uh, one Boral Sword, uh, which is probably the best link for um, just uh, attacking with doing like 6,000 damage most of the time or even more. Uh, with its ATK having and gaining effect, uh, attacking twice, just super, super dope, uh, powerful card, Boar Sword. And then uh, also we got uh, Seru, just Skull Dread, which uh, I go into sometimes, just uh, it does, I mean, you do want to be digging, so it's got that Pot of Duality-like effect with only with four cards. Uh, and the arrows with Seru are really nice. So um, that is the deck profile. Uh, I will make another one when I have my side deck ready, and I will be doing a little bit more updating. But um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll make another video after uh, I take Altergeist to Locals. Thank you so much.